Hi there, Renee Asti of Lowell, Massachusetts. And Catholic sex is about passion. It's not a want, it's not a need, it's not even a desire. And I think that's what best describes what marital love coming together unitively should be. So you think about the word passion, it's like this emotional evoke compelling you to something, right? To a good, to something wonderful. And sometimes, you know, it can mean suffering as too. You think about the passion of the Christ or we're, we're talking about this emotional state of martyrdom of the saints. And they'll sometimes refer it to as a passion, like Joan of Arc, they'll call it the passion of Joan of Arc, the trials that she takes, this emotional undertaking for love. In that case, for, for suffering and love. But when it comes to sex, it doesn't have to be suffering, right? It's a non-suffering passion of enjoyment and love towards your spouse. And when you think about the words like need or want, it's like you're sort of like demanding something selfishly. Like, I, it's, it's weird when men say, I need sex. No, you don't need sex, actually. I want sex, but why do you want it? Is it just to fulfill your like self selfishness or even like the word desire? It objectifies the woman and husbands should be passionate to their wives. And also you think about the word compassion itself, like understanding and empathy uh, of feelings of being there with the person, right? When you have compassion for somebody, you're with them through their emotions. Again, it's not sexual. It's usually something, some sort of suffering uh, of some sort of thing that went wrong. You're having compassion for them, right? But imagine taking the idea of passion, evocation of feeling for another person, something that is a sacrament. So it's a the highest level of love because it's a sacrament. Think about what the sacraments are. They're, they're gifts of love when you think about it, right? So husbands should be passionate to their wives. And um, again, you don't have to spend a lot of money to be passionate, right? You don't have to. Now, that's the thing. It's like women who are demanding like really expensive vacations or gifts they ain't gonna happen in marriage, guys. Things happen. Oh <laughs> God, things happen. I always mention the fact when I married my husband, we had property in Sardinia. And um, we were supposed to go on vacation to the Mediterranean Sea like every other year. And that never happened because my father-in-law got sick. So we make passion, passionate love here in Lowell, Massachusetts. And that's what I have to say about Catholic sex because people are getting frustrated. They don't know how to um, take care of their marriages. And I thought maybe I'll just put that in there. Anyway, love you all.